what? I'm losing smartness. I'm already there. Planet One Up. Hey everyone, I am Nate and welcome back to Planet One Up. In today's video, we're gonna be having a look at the top 10 most useless inventions of all time. In at number 10 is phone fingers. They're spirit fingers. There's nothing more irritating than putting a clean screen protector on your smartphone only for it to be stained with fingerprints five seconds after. It seems like no matter how many times you wipe it, there is no way to keep the smooth shimmer of a clean screen. Well, if cleaning won't work, maybe it's your fingers that are the issue. That must have been the thought that the inventor of the phone fingers had it anyway. These finger covers are made of latex and are designed to fit your fingers snugly while not smudging your screen. Although they're apparently quite difficult to put on and take off, so uh, good luck taking them off in a hurry. You're stuck wearing them now. In at number 9 is shoe umbrellas. There's nothing worse than getting halfway to school or work in the morning only for it to start pouring down rain. Even if you did manage to bring an umbrella, it's not going to save your shoes from getting soaked, meaning a day of dealing with the worst feeling in the world, soggy socks. The only thing worse than having soggy socks is shoe umbrellas. These mini umbrellas just attach to the toes of your shoes, ensuring dry feet and intense bullying to ensue. Seriously, I'd rather have soggy socks than wearing these on my feet. The movie Singing in the Rain would have been a whole lot different with this invention. In at number 8 is the Subway Chin Rest. Standing on the train sucks, especially if you have a long trip ahead of you and all you want to do is sleep. Imagine if there was a way to make these long standing trips actually comfortable. Well, the Subway Chin Rest is not the solution unfortunately. Designed a little like a walking stick, you just put one end of this long device on the ground and your chin on the cushioned end and voila! You look like a fool and you're probably not any more comfortable than you would have been just standing. It was cool in theory I guess. In at number 7 is Sweat Heart Sweet Shirt. <laughs> what? Looking for a gift for that special someone, someone you're so close to that you literally don't want any space between you at all, well then the Sweat Heart Sweet Shirt is what you've been looking for. Looking like a children's art project that doesn't want to be alive, the cozy hoodie is the perfect way to ensure that you and your special someone remain inseparable forever, because once you get in this thing, I can't imagine it's easy to get out of it. In at number 6 is... The DVD Rewinder. Think about it just a little bit. I'm so glad that I can finally rewind all of those DVDs that I was only ever able to watch once. The DVD Rewinder is compatible with all disc formats. It's multi-region and is capable of rewinding all six regional DVDs, including RCE, REA encoded discs. The DVD Rewinder even blinks and plays two different digital sounds while spinning a center spindle counterclockwise. It should probably be noted that this is a novelty product with the company claiming that they know that discs and MP3 media are direct access and do not truly require rewinding. Do they though? Do they really? Or did they make this product? Sell it? and then got backlash, and then were like, yeah, nah, like, oh, dude, totally. <laughs> In at number five is, of course, the pizza fork. I'm losing smartness. I'm already there. You know how it's super difficult to use both your hands while eating pizza? Wouldn't life be easier if there was some way that you could simplify the entire process so that you only had to use one hand? Okay, well, let's be honest, picking the pizza up with your hand is about as simple as it gets when you're eating pizza, so it's no wonder that when the pizza fork was invented, the world was left asking... Why? This different little device is a fork with a pizza cutter installed just below it, so now you can cut your pizza and pick it up with one utensil? In one hand? Like normal people already do? Yeah, I don't know what the inventor of this particular utensil was thinking when they made this, but... In at number 4 is the Multimedia Remote Control Wrangler. Oh boy. 
If you're the kind of person who always loses the remote, no need to lose your head because that's exactly where your remote is. Well, at least that's where your remote would be if you got the uh, Multimedia Remote Control Wrangler. This stylish looking headband comes in two styles, Retro Sportsman and Antique Olive, so you can be looking fresh while binging Netflix. Alone though, you're only going to be alone. In at number three is the Wheelmate. Do you need a distraction from the screams of all those pedestrians frantically jumping out of the way of your car as you're driving to work but find that your phone screen is just not cutting it? Then the Wheelmate is the product for you. Made by AutoExec, the Wheelmate is a portable table that attaches to the steering wheel in your car. Advertised as an ergonomic work solution for tablets or writing. Just put your tablet or laptop on there and boom, you're good to go. It also advertises that it is a great way to increase efficiency. And if they're talking about running over those pesky pedestrians, then I'd say it's pretty efficient. In at number two is a USB pet rock. Put those things together in your mind. A USB pet rock. Think about it. Think about it. Hey, you got it. Good for you. If you loved how little the original pet rock did, then you're going to absolutely flip your lid over the USB Pet Rock. Bringing the old sensation into the modern world, the USB Pet Rock just plugs straight into your USB port, draining no power and with no care needed. At, at all. Watch in wonder as your amazing USB Pet Rock continues to do absolutely nothing forever. Before we reveal what number one is, what have you thought of the list so far? Have you heard of any of these inventions? Do you own one? Be honest, be honest in the comment section down below. But it is now time for number one. In at number one for the most useless invention of all time is the useless box. Useless is in the title of the product. Useless. If you're thinking that maybe there's more to the name and that this device actually does something incredible, uh, then I am sorry to let you down, but the name pretty much uh, says it all for this one. Spend anywhere from $15 to $30 and this unique and totally useless device could be yours. It is a plain box with a switch on the side. You start by flipping the switch and then the other half of the box opens up and from within comes a robotic lever. Sometimes an odd character or a hand. This so-called hand or lever simply turns the switch off and that's it. That's all it does. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you like as well as subscribe and hit that bell icon just down here so you're notified when we upload more videos just like this one. I'm Nate, this is Part of One Up and we'll see you all next time. Bye. If you enjoyed this video then, maybe you'll enjoy this one. And if you enjoy that one, subscribe.